I'll let you go first on that one. It's not deep. It's pretty freaking cool. Good morning YouTubers, it's a beautiful day here at where the hell we are, breakfast is done, well almost, nearly done, yep, had a pretty good night, it's a little bit cold but is not too bad, I think we're just going to set up, uh, cut, pack up, I think we're just going <laughs> to pack up, <laughs> Um, yeah, and start exploring this place. I got nothing else. We'll see you later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, almost packed up. Just got me tarp to go. Alrighty. I do believe it is go time. Let's see if I can find anything interesting in this uh, Barracuda. Oh, there's a track. Whee. Yeah, that looks more like it. We, uh, we saw a dingo this morning. Oh, Phil spotted it. Uh, as soon as the uh, dingo spotted us, he took off pretty quick. So we've got a bit of a rough plan for today, sort of head down to the southern end of Barracula and do a bit of a loop around back to the top because our, um, well the dodgy blue line that I made to get us back home sort of goes along the northern side so be a pretty much totally different loop on the way home if it all goes to plan. I'm expecting a lot of locked gates and shit again, so we'll see. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, it keeps going over there. If we can get past. Reedy Dam. Okay. Send it, Philbo. I want to see why this road's closed. It's a big bloody area out right here. I'm not sure how many kilometres across it'd be, but be a fair few. There are a lot of long, straight <laughs> trails in here. Just keep going and going. Same direction. Oh yes, road closed indeed. Bit of a more of an exploratory route plan through here but it's just such a big area I think we're gonna need to bring extra fuel to properly explore it. I mean 
and you don't know if tracks are going to be open and stuff and you can get through you need to have a little bit of in reserve for backtracking and stuff so I'm just going to sort of start making our way north and and then uh, try and follow the, the exit route which should be plenty more exploring anyway plenty more bloody gates no doubt a really nice day for riding today not too hot the sunshine not too dusty so yeah there's nothing much too gnarly in here obviously but um, pretty good for a bloody adventure ride anyway oh yeah oh <laughs> I'll let you go first on that one. Uh, <laughs> Back in the bloody sand again. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Too soft. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Heading in the right direction anyway to start. Shit, fucking sand. <laughs> yeah boy. Oh he could have sent that. Full send fill. Yeah, no worries. Oh this is a really big forest and we've done 90 93 k's in this tank of fuel, so I don't have fuel anxiety yet. But I'll tell you what, it won't take long to start getting it. Especially if this is a dead end or something. But uh, it looks like that. If we can get back onto that main bitumen road just over there somewhere, um, that'll get us out of strife, I think. <laughs> Mad dog. Pretty sure the KDM's got a bit more fuel capacity than the T7. Not sure exactly how much. But um, it does chew a bit more as well. That's a decent log stickle. <laughs> See what I did there? This is good, this is awesome. This is adventure riding, man. Not blasting along bloody boring dirt roads. Get out here and just get into these situations where you, you don't know what to expect. You never know what's ahead. Well, shit, found some water. It's not deep. Waterproof formers, save your socks, bloody good. Just 
still rambling through the bush here. Randomly rambling. What's what happens when we go through this gate? <laughs> I wonder if that's to scare the dogs or something. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> um, must be a fucking, must be an audible grid maybe. Yeah. Because it's got those lines marked on the road there. Yep. That's weird, eh? Or the cows and stuff scared of that noise or something. You think they'd just fucking hear the noise and keep running, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely some nice country out here. Time. Yep. A bit of everything so far today. A few fast dirt roads and a bit of <laughs> overgrown track. Shit, yeah. Sketchy creek crossings. Mark is a fucking highway. There's a road. <laughs> okay. oh, I'm glad the blue line's still got a bit of fun stuff for us to do. Awesome. <laughs> oh the fuck it got me again. At least it's only water. This ain't a dead end. <laughs> It'd be really bad. The Google Blue Line goods. Fucking <laughs> slop. These rocks like cowhide. It's pretty freaking cool. Supposed to hook back that way somewhere, but there's a fucking fence there. Yeah. But yeah, we'll go back and have a look for something over that way. 
is where it gets a bit uh, yeah, sketchy. There's supposed to be a truck over here somewhere. All right, we're backtracking. Getting some uh, proper fuel anxiety now. This doesn't seem to be any uh, direct route to get to the Hivesville where the fuel is, so. Um, just gonna have to see what we can do. Yeah, try and ride in economical mode. Just conserve some fuel. Righto, Phil's uh, navigation <laughs> turned the other way. I had a feeling it was going north. Yeah, so there's no bloody phone service out here at all, but Phil's got the, you know, the proper GPS that works offline. And he's typed in Hivesville, which is where our fuel is. It says it's only 60k, so let's see if he's if it's right. So I think I thought it was a lot further than that. So let's see if it uh, can get us there anyway. Google Blue Line failed. Garmin GPS to the rescue. <laughs> this track's pretty cool. Too. Phil said his GPS said it was only 58 k's to Hivesville from where we were. There's no way, we've already done 40 and we've got a long way to go. Maybe it was like 158 k's or something. Uh, seems more likely. Uh, blacktop. Boring. Anyway, Phil is the priority. <laughs> I've got one bar left. Little town of Proston, I don't think there's any fuel here somehow. Your GPS is on drugs if it thinks so. It was fucking 58 kilometers. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not far out of Hoysville now. Fuel's been flashing for a while. Good old hive still. Alright, hey, buddy. Up. Greasy hot box shit at Hivesville. Fueled up. Never escape these freaking roadworks. No, me either. Yeah. Found a 
Lantana track for Phil. Oh, oh man! Not a Josh ride without at least some kind of freaking Lantana shit. It's not bad. Oh, cool. <laughs> Go <laughs> boy, go! <laughs> Stupid scrub turkey. I think Philbo's getting a little bit snarky. <laughs> He's not a fan of the Lantana. No why? It's awesome. Oh <laughs> fuck me. Yeah, this is not good. I should be out of here soon though. <laughs> oh man, he's, he's not going to let me live this one down. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Shit. Man, I hope we don't have to go back. <laughs> I hope we don't have to go back through this. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil. <laughs> oh, I did offer to go back. Should be nearly out of this. <laughs> it's quite possibly some of the worst lantana I've ever bloody ridden through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to get too close to him because he's going to just fucking roost me <laughs> in rage. <laughs> oh, 
this is fucked. <laughs> I'm fucking pissing myself. <laughs> fuck this! <laughs> Dude, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get through? Hey. Is it? Does it go anywhere? It just fucking keeps going. Do you want to turn around? It'll be easier to get back than keep pushing forward. There, we'll go back. Try and fight our way out of this shit. <laughs> oh man. Ow. Fuck me. Shit's ripping my fucking head off. We never speak of the Lantana track again. Hello, don't bite me. <laughs> don't bite me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> hell's going on here? We're, we're in the Bermuda Triangle or something. Fucking twilight zone. Alright. Whoa. <laughs> oh, more lantana. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh. Nice spot out here. Okay, horses. Hello. <laughs> That looks like rain over there, eh? <laughs> Fuck no. Don't tell me we're turning around. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, I had to get in the fucking neutral. More of this shit. Alright. Seriously. Holy shit. Oh shit. Fuck, I don't even know if my windscreen's gonna get under that now. Right. 
Right, uh, we can't get these big fucking bitches underneath that log. So, yet again, we're turning around. Alright, we're trying a different track here. Let's see what's what. Oh, yeah, okay. Another one. Don't you poop, son of a bitch. <laughs> it's just amazing how, you know, all this rain that we've had this year, it's just caused everything to grow. <laughs> oh, buddy, get off the road. Everything's just grown crazy. And nobody's, because you know, all the roads are washed out. I don't think he's got any flight left anymore. <laughs> All the roads are fucking washed out and there's trees down everywhere so a lot of the tracks are just unpassable and it's just, it's gone to shit, like everything's, yeah. Mother Nature's taken over again. As she always does. Shit. I know where we are now. Good thing about all that lantana is it uh, cleaned all Phil's fucking roost mud off me windscreen. <laughs> uh, oh gee. I think this is where Phyllis is gonna leave me. He's going that way, I'm going that way. Anyway, that was pretty good, mate. <laughs> Fucking, you know you're alive after a ride like that. Yeah. <laughs> when you feel half dead. Fuck, your nose is bleeding and shit from Lantana. Fucking why? Alright, I'm going home for a beer too. Right, I'll see you next time. Okay. Ride safe. So. Dragged the drone all the way with me. I'm bringing it home with two fully charged batteries. It was a waste of fucking time. Anyway, that's it for this uh, video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, supporters. Fuck, I can't even talk properly. Thanks, supporters. Couldn't do it without you. You just know that. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys on the next uh, adventure. <laughs>